guys I hope you're all doing well so this is a jam-packed video get a snack get a drink it's gonna be a long one and you're gonna hear me talk for a bit because I have a stack of palettes that I want to go through with you from profusion and I'm gonna give you a little mini review my thoughts on all every single one of them uh, <clears throat> so let's back up a little bit so profusion came out with their like summer collection I'm late their summer collection is a bunch of all these palettes um they were in my local Target and Perfusion has a website as well Candace Perfusion never heard of it yes you have uh Perfusion is one of those brands that uh really flourishes near the holiday time like in Walmart and Walgreens like those makeup kits like the little holiday makeup sets uh more on the inexpensive side of course um and yeah they I have two here should have had them ready huh these like look like these these were three dollars I think I got them at Walgreens a while ago these type of palettes that you'll see especially around the holiday su holiday time and gift packs and everything like that these are profusion you've seen this brand before trust me um so mm, they have repackaged reformulated re just designed their brand and if this is any sneak peek of how the brand is going to continue i'm really really excited uh <clears throat> everything is still in drugstore range and yeah so i was in my local target is where i found all these i found these on two separate trips to target um haven't seen them anywhere else but on two separate trips to target um i'm going to give you the full price of these things the full retail price because the second time i went to target everything in this line was 30 percent off um and i pinned that comment on my other video my get ready with me featuring those palettes i don't even know if that sale is still going on but i'm going to talk to you full price and even still the most expensive thing i have here is 9.99 um <laughs> So that'll let you know. So I have eyes, eye palettes, and face palettes, and an and an eye and face palette situation. And let's go ahead and 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 just and just talk about it. One thing I I guess I can touch on. I also picked up a few of their lip kits, three specifically. Um, they come like this, four ninety nine, so five dollars. Um, and they come with a matte lip liner. This is the trio I'm wearing now: a matte lip liner, a matte liquid lipstick, and a liquid and, and a lip topper, which is like a shimmery gloss. I mean, you could wear it individually, but they really do complement the lip color. I'm wearing this trio now, and this trio is called uh fantasy so i'm wearing this trio now on the lips and i think it's really pretty they also have a they have a i think they have like five or six i got three i got a red trio as well which is called passion and i have a pinky nude trio which is called imagine uh with this pretty gold topper here so those is something else i picked up that they're decent enough. Uh, nothing really bad to say, but that's not what this video is about. Let's talk about the palettes. Okay, so I'm going to go from smallest to largest. Um, the first two palettes, first off, let us let me calm down and let's back up. The prices range from $4.99 to $9.99, with $9.99 being the bigger palettes. And $4.99 being the lip kits um, and the smaller palettes, as well as like mid-range $6.99 for the little eye kit that I'll talk about. Um, the packaging is like plastic packaging. Nothing has a mirror. I'm not mad at it, though. All of them have like the holographic letters, holographic frame. And yeah, let's do this. So. Um, these first two palettes that I'm going to talk about are the Orchids and the Nudes. And these two palettes came in a set. They were two individual sets. And in said set, you got the palette. You got the palette, which looks like this. You got a huge, this is an eyeshadow primer, not a mascara. Huge eyeshadow primer. And you have a black um, liquid eyeliner pen. It's a felt tip. I'm actually wearing it today. It's pretty decent. Um, I have not worn it out yet to know if it's like, transfer proof and I mean like water resistant and different things and be honest I don't think it is um just based on how it behaved on my hand but whatever so you get those with um each of these two and so these two another thing to mention is these two are the only palettes that the names of the shades are not on the palette there is a little plastic sheet in here and I kept mine, I like stuck it to the top, but there's a little plastic sheet in here that's adhered here that has the names on it. And these two small palettes are the only ones like that. I just wanted to make a note of that because I will make a point to talk about that at the end of this situation. So 
Um, one is called Orchids. This is the one that's called Orchids. You get seven shades in here. Five of them being matte and two being shimmery, very shimmery shades. I bought it for that shade right there, that rose gold looking one, and that's actually my least favorite. Leaves a little much to be desired. Uh, this is actually my favorite one of the two. Um, and this is the Nudes one. And you have four mattes in here and three shimmery shades. I'm wearing this shimmery shade in my crease. Yes, I put a shimmer in my crease. And I do have a uh, makeup playtime, like, not really a tutorial, but I do have a video on this look. Uh, and I have this as my brow highlight as well. So anyway, let's talk about these two palettes. First off, the consistency, I will to say this blanket statement on all the palettes, the consistency is pretty consistent like the quality throughout the palettes I can't say it's hit and miss it's definitely more hit the misses are like some are a little bit light some are a little bit uh what's the word I'm looking for like dusty like the some of the lighter ones are chalky but that doesn't mean that they're not pigmented if you will um these I I am not upset at any of them in terms of like I said consistency they the mattes blend really well they're absolutely beautiful um and one thing I really like about this entire line as a whole it is women of friendly color women of color friendly from beginning to end so jumping into again with this orchid so for an example this orchid orchids palette here I'm going to swatch the I'm going to swatch for the mattes here um and I know whoa let's not let's not these are four mattes. Um, oh my god, absolutely juicy, wonderful, wonderful quality, wonderful consistency. They blend. They blend very well. Um, I'm wearing two mattes on my eyes to two of the mattes. Uh, this whole look is done with these Perfusion palettes. This bright pink is in another palette, and I'll show it to you. But they are really pretty. And then the new, <clears throat> the new palette I think is like the best woman of color friendly neutral palette I have in my collection look at this it's very simple it's very simple but these dark chocolate browns are going to work for my brown girls and then even this lighter shade is the best it's like a champagne um a creamy champagne shade that's not white that's going to do balm on our lid or our inner corner and I think that's absolutely wonderful so this this palette here is like pop in your bag perfect ready to go Wonderful, and again, you get an eye primer and a mask, uh, mascara, a eyeliner with it. I am very happy with this. Again, seven dollars, and you get those things. Back to this orchid, back to the orchid palette. Um, like I said, this shade leaves a little bit to be desired. It it behaves almost like a topper. It behaves like a topper. One thing I noticed with all of these palettes is the metallic shades, like those bright metallic shades, have this creamy consistency to them, almost like a powder to cream, like a pressed pigment type of thing that almost like melts onto your skin when you blend it with your brush or what have you. Um, this one is actually really powdery. It's beautiful, but it's very lightweight and airy and powdery, almost as if it's meant to top something else. Um, and again, it shows up, but it's very light and a sheer shade. I don't I don't think it's a situation of it's not pigmented, but when I say it leaves much to be desired, it's, it's literally sheer. Like It's like the eyeshadow equivalent to a sheer gloss, if you will. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. But you get a matte black in here, which I don't mind if a palette doesn't have a matte black, but I know that some people's, you need to round that up. You know, some people like a matte black in there, and you have one in here, and I think that's beautiful. I like the nudes a little bit more because I'm a warm brown girl, but... There you go. I spent like eight minutes just on those two. I have so many more to go. All right. So, so many more to go. Where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? So, the small ones. Then you have these palettes here. These are a combination of eye and face palettes this size. Um, I'm going to go through them quickly. These are $4.99. These are $5.00. Uh, and then with 30% off, when it was 30% off, they were $3.49. I know. And blown out of the park. So I'm going to go to the two face ones first. I'm going to go to the two face ones first. Um, so they have a blush and glow palette. Let's start there. This is a blush and highlighter palette. It has two blushes and it has three highlighters. This is the second version, blush and glow, glow 2. They also have blush and glow 1, which was too light for me in that sense, you know, but they gave you two options, which I thought was wonderful. So now we're getting into all of the palettes. I'll let you know now have this theme of holo holographic 
with the word with the um name of the palette on the front and all the palettes have names have shade names printed on them and these pal again a five dollar palette can do all that not to mention every palette on the back has a description of the palette a selection of lightweight blush and highlighter shades that blend effortlessly onto the skin in a range of hues from roses to honeys this multi-finished palette is all you need to enhance your natural glow Every single palette has a description of the palette as well as a quick how-to. Yeah, it's like a cartoon, but the, the effort is there. A quick how-to with steps, uh, with steps on using the shades. I think that's absolutely wonderful. That extra time that Profusion has taken to put into their packaging. Um, yeah, it's a little plastic. The pl it's a cheap plastic if you drop it. Ugh. But... All that other information that they put on there I think is very helpful for a beginner or for someone like me that's trying to describe a palette in a video. Boom, there it is. Appreciate that, Profusion. Thumbs up. Back to this. This is the Blush and Glow 2. This is definitely woman of color friendly, definitely brown girl friendly. The two blushes here, Sparks and Lovejoy. Um, Lovejoy is matte. Sparks is that peachy glow, golden glow thing that... Oh my god. Wonderful. Wonderful on my skin, although that's a lot of blush, but you guys get the drift. So you have a matte one, you have a one with a little bit of reflective glow, and that's kind of one of those blushes where you don't need highlighter if you don't want to wear highlighter, although I always wear highlighter. And then your three highlighters are varying shades of gold or honey golds, if you will. Hype, Passion, and Elated. So you have a, like a 14 karat gold-ish, 14 karat gold, a light champagne-y, a light champagne -y gold you know and then you have more of a copier a copier copper bronzy bronzy shade in here and I think this is absolutely wonderful um I love the mixture of sparks and lovejoy together um they really give a pretty hue really reflect a nice um nice hue on the cheeks and yeah so that is the blush and glow too I think it's wonderful I do not have the one obviously though okay and then Moving on to the highlighter palette. They have a hot, just a solely highlighter palette, and they have it's called the Luminizer. And they have a Luminizer 1 and a Luminizer 2. I picked up the two because it is the deeper ones. And so in here, you have five beautiful pans of highlighter. I know the one that sticks out is this one right here called Interstellar. Now, it reminds me of the Fenty, is that the Kilowatt highlighter? I don't own that one, um, but I noticed, I don't, I think that color highlighter has been around for whatever, but I think that was kind of like the first mainstream to start this bright yellow gold of highlighter um and so i'm at it i'm just i'm at it okay <laughs> so again you have shades of gold except this one here uh, aura which is a holographic uh i'm sorry not holographic iridescent white silver lavender probably the least used in here for me but that's okay um and you have again a shade of gold. The consistency of these are the same consistency of the metallic eyeshadows. Um, of the metallic eyeshadows in the sense that they remind me of like a pressed pigment, a powdered or cream type of situation. When I swatch them, they're very emollient and very, I wouldn't call them a cream eyeshadow because they're powder and I use powder brushes to pick them up, but they're very emollient, very creamy and blendable and I appreciate that. The satins feel more like satins like the ones that are not as metallic feeling um they feel more like satins and reflect light really well really pigmented really nice not much to say not much you know wonderful all right <clears throat> we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palettes that are small um so there are four that they have in the collection and Let's just do it. I'm going to go from least least favorite to most favorite. The first one is the mattes. Um, this one, I think, is critical in some people's collections. A good palette of matte shades, um, like this one right here, you know, a warm or a warm brown, warm orangey, you know, you know. Um, the mattes are really pigmented, really pretty. However, it's just boring as hell to me. With a collection as big as mine, I have mattes. You know, I have mattes. I have creatures. These shades, if you want to do an all matte look, boom, they're here and it'll be beautiful. Um, but I usually incorporate my my matte shades in with some shimmer or crease. I really do an all matte eye. Nothing against it, but I don't do an all matte eye enough to appreciate an all matte palette, you know? Uh, but... This is why I don't like because it's boring. Not the quality. The quality of the mattes are there. Although, these, this area here... 
they're all they could be they might as well be the damn same damn color <laughs> you know the qual it's not the quality it's just it's boring and it's it's just it is what it is but good quality mats if this is something that you need definitely go for it for five dollars nice big pans names are on the pans that kind of thing but i'm just like meh Mm. All right, the next one is a really, uh, it's a pretty palette. It's still in the boring family to me, but the the mixture of finishes make it a little bit more worth it. So this is the Classics palette, okay? And you're getting, you're getting one, two, three, four mattes in your classic shades, like a nude, a, br a, crease, a brown crease shade, a black, and a white. You're getting those, and then you can round out the look with these beautiful metallic satin and metallic shades. Um, again, soft, light reflecting, really nice to, really easy to be, really easy to blend. I know, I'm talking a mile a minute, but I still got a lot to talk about. Uh, <laughs> And really easy to blend. This is another pop it in your makeup bag type of palette. Um, you know, pop it in your makeup bag type of palette. It's one of the ones, I like the metallic shades. Two of them, like Conquest and Winter, they could be the same damn shade. I just don't think they're different enough to have just put in a tin pan palette. But I also think, I don't think it's the worst palette. I think it's pretty cute. And I think it's definitely nice to be a staple in someone's collection. Definitely. This is your jam. That's a good one. These last two are bomb. This is, we're getting into almost favorite. This is the Shimmers palette. So this is wonderful. Perfusion nailed it. A Shimmers palette. It's a palette of all shimmers. I know this might turn some people off because people like complete palettes. People like a mixture of matte and shimmers to get a complete look. Now you can do whatever you want in makeup, obviously, but if you're just going that classic route of following a tutorial or following steps, usually there's some mattes and shimmers involved to get a nice, well-rounded look, blah, 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 blah. This does not have that. This is 10 shimmers and really nice colors. This is one of those palettes that's an addition to another palette. In addition to your classic mattes, to your crease shades, you might want to do, you might want to do the mattes and this, and then you have shimmers, um, some type of situation. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's genius to do an all shimmer palette. It reminds me, we're taking it back to like Coastal Scents and B cosmetics with like the 88 mattes 88 shimmers when in reality you don't need 88 10 good ones will do you <laughs> 10 good ones will do you let's read this description a collection of easy blend shimmer eyeshadows and high impact pops of color from pinks to blues and rich golds richly pigmented ideal for all skin tones i can agree you got that other yellow gold, not as bright as Interstellar, but you have that bright yellow gold, beautiful blue, a purple, another like denim blue-ish. Um, it's like a purple mix, blue mix. But anyway, yeah, that's an all shimmer palette. So, you guys like your shimmers. This is my favorite out of the mini palettes because of the color selection. Because it's unique and you don't see very many palettes with this, um configuration of colors this is called the royals palette check that out wonderful the mattes that need to be this is just screaming candace okay the mattes that need to be matte are matte my warm browns my crease shades my black i don't even need the black but if it's black it should be matte um just saying uh a holographic stop saying holographic iridescent uh purple white shade in there um copper bronzy shades yellow gold and then you throw this royal blue up in there as well as a green and then a beautiful taupey gray I, I, they work i've done a look with this i've done a get ready with me using this palette it works these two together this gold and royal blue i am biased because those are my high school colors uh <laughs> but i think they look wonderful together i am wearing this royal blue in the outer part of my eye today um and mixing with my pink it's actually purple looking you know blending looking nice but you know yeah love it you guys look at that configuration five dollars for this palette five dollars 4.99 it's 4.99 on the perfusion website five bucks and if you catch it on sale five bucks five bucks so those are all the, uh, I say mini palettes, but the smaller palettes. Now we're going to go into the larger ones that I have. And I'm going to start with the face palette and go to the face and eye palette and finish with all the eye palettes. All right. So this face palette is called the Sculpt and Glow. And what you get in here is nine 
shades you get a crappy brush because it doesn't pick up anything but whatever um this is these big palettes are 9.99 30 percent off at target they were 6.99 um but some i got before <laughs> you get nine face uh products in here you get six highlighters at the top and you get three con three face shades at the bottom you get a light highlight a medium contour and a deep sculpt the light highlight is really good for setting under eye i've only done it once and i'm saying really good but i didn't have any flashback i didn't have any creasing it was really nice i'm not as golden yellow as i would like but it did the job uh and then the deep sculpt is a really nice contour for me it's cool toned um it's cool toned it's not as deep as my contour usually is but it definitely showed up and it sculpted my face it was a nice cool toned contour we're good to go the medium one i wouldn't use this as probably the same shade as my skin it's just it's just off but that's okay and then the top six highlighters i just want to make a note that they are three of them are in the mini one so in here you have interstellar charisma and Comet in the top one. Interstella, Charisma, and Comet. And then in the bottom one, you have Interstella, Charisma, and Comet. So if you have this one, you're really only getting three new highlighters. So it's up to you if you want to spend $10 on that. Uh, same consistency as before as the eyeshadows. I don't need to repeat myself on that. Now I'm just really speaking on the shade, the shades of the palette. So, all right. And then the next one, and all of the larger, again, $10. All of the larger palettes have the names of every shade printed on the palette. You get a description on the back. You get a table of contents, if you will. 12 multi-finish eyeshadows, two radiant highlighters, a wearable blush, dual-ended brush. You get the how-to. You get the... I mean, it's just... It's, it's just... I, I just really appreciate it. Um, so anyway, this one's called Rose Gold Look. And this is absolutely beautiful. The three face shades, I'm be honest with you, eh, the two highlighters are pretty, but I would have bought it if it was just the eyeshadow. So again, you have a, um, a mixture of finishes. Again, it's rose gold. I love rose gold. The mattes that need to be matte are matte. To go with, to complement rose gold, if you will, is what I'm saying. The mattes that need to be matte are matte. Um... You have a light nude, your brown, your, your berry, your brick shade, um, a, like a... I want to say like new tan that's the word I was looking for tan and then you have some four variations of rosy gold shades one with like a little peach in it which I really appreciate as well so this one yeah I mean <laughs> have you are you have, are you convinced to buy them yet uh I do not fun fact I do not use the brushes that come in my palettes I've used like one or two in an Urban Decay palette I just don't I hate storing double-ended brushes and I feel like once I use it I need to take it out because I need to remember to wash it and like oh, how am I going to store it again I just I, I don't I leave them in all of almost all of my brushes that come in palettes are still in the palettes like all of my Urban Decay palettes that have brushes have the brushes still in the palette I just don't take them out and they're clean still in the plastic and I know I have a lot of double ended brushes that I could be using but I just I just I don't know but the double ended brush you get a flat eyeshadow side and then you get a fluffy fluffy blending side doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it but again I don't use them so and I also that this is definitely anxiety driven I don't like this empty space it makes me uncomfortable so <laughs> sorry sorry <sighs> we're getting there Okay, and then the next three um, are all eye, complete eye palettes. And so we are going to go ahead, I guess, my favorite, most favorite. They're all like, I equally love them all, so this is no order. So the first one is the Pro Pigment palette. This is labeled Pro Pigment. The other ones have like names. Um, and this is 21 Pro Pigment shades and a dual ended brush. Um, all of the, the larger eyeshadow palettes have 21 shades and this one pro pigment why is it called that let's read incorporating 21 multi-finish pro pigments in high impact colors this palette is designed to amplify your features effortlessly 
The selection includes all the must-have shades from shimmering opals to rich berries that inspire boundless creativity. The silky smooth ultra blendable pigments make creating looks easy and are stunningly suitable for all skin tones. Pro Series brush included. So I will say this, looking on the back of the looking on the back of the palette so this is the sienna's i haven't shown you yet but this set of ingredients is just one set of ingredients it's one set of ingredients for all the shadows here there's two sets of ingredients so like it has a list let's see if you can see it has a list of some shadows at the top and that's their ingredients and then there's let me get myself together and then there's more down here so there is there's a different formulation clearly uh what that is i don't know i don't personally see any difference between these pro pigment shadows and then the other ones the, they're all the same consistent quality to me i i don't know maybe again for pigment but you got this bright pink in here and that's pretty much the only bright shade that i would think might be a different pigment if you will uh but and it works fine it's it, it, it's it's lovely but I can't say, oh, it's lovely because it's different from the other ones when there's no other bright pink that's not a pro pigment to compare it to. So I I don't know. I don't know. But this this has other than that bright pink has really nice purples and then that rosy side over here so some of these palettes for the most part well for the most part these palettes are unique in their own way but you'll get a few crossover shades and crossover sections you'll get a couple uh, but yeah, this bottom row of purples and berries is life. And <laughs> the rosies there are nice. And the gold, it's, it's appropriate. These, these the next three palettes are for really just uh, personal preference. I like them all. I like eyeshadows. I like trying eyeshadows. I like testing them all. Um, and I couldn't say, oh, this is the best. This is my favorite one out of the three because I like them for all different reasons. Anyway, moving on. The next one is called the Chocolates. Uh, this is a very interesting configuration too. I think it's very unique of them to do a palette like this. I really like it. Um, deeper browns, deeper metallics, like taupes and not so much like bright yellow golds, but like taupes, copper, a little, little bit of copper, uh, bronze, brassy if you will. And then this bottom of like with the touches of green in there. It reminds me if like... Um, a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture and a little bit of Naked to adopted a baby. <laughs> a little bit. Like, I don't know. That's the, the, the picture I'm trying to get into. Blitz, you can see that's one of my favorite shades in this palette. Blitz is, let me just, let me just swatch it very weird to me there's a base of a taupey green definitely with the gold reflex in it but it's just it's a weird one but i'm not mad at it i like it <laughs> um so yeah this one again personal preference i can i can repeat the same things over and over again personal preference this is very unique i think this will look well um on cool skin tones and warm skin tones but it's cool especially that cool roll at the bottom do you guys head to Target? <laughs> oh my god, I said it like you ever watched Saturday Night Live in the Target Lady? Welcome to Target! <laughs> I love her. They only did her sketches like three or four times, but like YouTube, Saturday Night Live, Target Lady. Welcome to Target. All right, anyway, <laughs> the last one is. I was going to say it's my most favorite, but I'm not even going to say that because I love the two equally. But if this was a different time frame and I'm trying to stay away from the, you know, the warm, just like warm. Yep, yep. I want to call it my favorite, but I love these equally. This is the Sienna's, okay? This is the Sienna's and this is warmth. Warmth, warmth, warmth. Let's do it for $10, okay? I know Sephora has a huge warm palette for $70. Bucks. Um... My favorite one palette, ColourPop Yes Please, these can get together. I like ColourPop Yes Please still, like this doesn't replace it because ColourPop Yes Please has a true brighter orange and a brighter yellow. Um, but ColourPop Yes Please was $16, this was $10. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, yeah, so the theme here is warm. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven warm brownie neutrals to play with. Yes, that's that's my thing. Um, I know, how many times can I say it? 
Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't even realize those were matte. Ten. Um, and then the other ones again are the metallic complimentary classic warm eye sunset themed palette shades. You guys. Profusion did it. So my overall, overall, I think all of these palettes are worth a try. It comes down to per per personal preference. I have, um, like, swatched, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't done, like, full, complete tutorial videos on every single one of these, these palettes. Can't do that, but I've done a look with every single one of these palettes. So, I got enough information for you. Consistency across the board with with the quality of again the metallics i told you they all feel that creaminess the satins are beautiful light reflecting um the mattes are really nice and blendable like that's consistent uh shade selection again it's completely up to you it's up to your preference you have an all shimmer palette all matte palette uh a rose gold themed palette warm palette deeper chocolate i think there's something for everyone in this summer collection i wish they had more and i hope they continue this like i don't know as far as production I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, wait a minute. Thirteen. To put out thirteen palettes in a collection is absolutely insane. At a cheap, at a inexpensive price point, I think that's absolutely impressive. I think it's wonderful, the quality, the, the time that went into the packaging. Like I said, the pack, outside packaging, so it's cheap. It's, it's yeah, it's not something you want to, like, throw across the room. <laughs> but with all those extra details of the names being printed, adding a brush, adding descriptions, adding how-tos, definitely it does not go unnoticed by me as someone who just appreciates that and appreciates inexpensive makeup and appreciates great inexpensive makeup. I'm really happy, and I hope they do a whole fall set of 13 more because <laughs> I would definitely get them. Perfusion that now has its own Alex Straw in my collection because there is so many and I really do appreciate it you guys it's up to you um it's up to you I think giving them a try finding your personal preference in the shades again with the with the luminizers and the blush palette the blush and highlighter palette you can choose a lighter deep one I just think they considered all those things and I just kudos to them so you guys go ahead and shop and let me know what you're interested in let me know what was your favorite one of the ones I talked about today down below let me know and um, let me know if you picked up any so if you have any questions comments concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video feel free to leave it down below as I said I love you all very very much don't forget that and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye